hello and very warm welcome to swift tutorials in today's video we are going to learn how to fix the ui text field problem whenever it is hidden by a keyboard okay this tutorial is using language shift 4 and the xcode version is 9.2 so let's start open up your xcode create a new xcode project we'll select single view application and name it is fix ui text field hidden language will be swift and press next and here save it to your hard drive keyboard fix and here we are done with our xcode project creation so now for this let us create a ui first Open up your main dot storyboard. Let me make it bigger. And here, first we will give a background color to our view, and this. And now we will drag a UI text field. And we will place it in the bottom. Okay, we will place it 60 pixel and 20 leading, 20 trailing, and height will be 50. Okay. So here now the problem I am discussing is let's pause if you run your app right at this point so app is just launching iPhone 10 simulator So here our app get launched and it's running on iPhone 10 simulator. Let me show you what the power on tagging was. This is my text field. Whenever user starts typing, it gets hidden by the keyboard. Now there are so many solutions like you can give it a constraint constant to more whenever keyboard is shown in the text field. Did begin editing what that's didn't give you exact height of your keyboard because sometimes keyboard has these corrections and other stuff and sometimes it's hidden for some field so for this we will use keyboard did show notification so let's start first we will create an IP outlet for this uh, bottom constraints so here go to round go to main store storyboard and select round style text field here go to sorry and here you will see the constraints like line bottom and double click on it and it will run so here we will select not safe area we will say super view because safe area will not give the correct result sometimes the keyboard will uh, so text field will go higher so now it's time to create the IP outlet for the constant so here we are and here we say txt bc means bottom constraints so here we are done now let's open up your view controller dot shift file here we will do all the code and suppose if I give this uh, constant of constant value then it will bring up but it will not work correctly on all devices so you have to measure the height of the keyboard in all devices so for that we will use notification and here we have notification center dot default dot add observer and observer will be our class this self and selector we will say selector and here I misspelled it so here selector and I will put it like keyboard will show switch or show and here I will say notification not this notification but I will just make it like this and here it is and here for the notification name we will use ms notification dot name dot 
UI keyword will show and object will be nil okay so same we have to create a notification whenever keyword goes hidden so for this we will copy this and just change this keyword will hide and here we will say keyword will hide now we need to create a selector for this and for this let's create the selector and here we say at rate or pgc because it's required in swift 4 and we get fun keyword and here we will copy this keyword will show and here we will put it like this and here same parameters notification notification goes here colon and here say notification with end capital so this is a class okay so this is notification and here it is we have same we will write code or function for the height notification here keyboard will hide and I will copy it and here so now we have implemented our selector for the notifications okay so now you can see the errors gone and now for this first we will do in keyboard will show what we will do we will say let user info is of type ns dictionary is equals to notification dot user this is small 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 but this is variable of this notification dot user info okay so we can make it more clear we say if let user info and because it's saying the force on the app as of type dictionary with key always in string and value will be any object okay so this is we have our user info that is associated by our notification and now let say the frame let frame is equals to user info dot or we can say value this and key will be our ui keyboard keyboard mm, keyboard frame and info where is keyboard frame this is keyword key and info key okay so here we have and it says that it's not read yet and now we'll find the rect of our keyword keyword a rect is equals to frame and dot cg rect rect value here it is cg rect value it's keyboard not j word it's keyboard rect and we have here cg rect value and here we have now let's find out our let keyboard height is equals to keyboard rect dot height so it gives us the height and now let's say self dot txtbc dot constant is equals to the height of our keyword height okay so this now sets so it's what say did you mean to use all this so this I will force unwrap now if you don't want to force unwrap then you have if let keyword and as float and then you can give it this oh, it will not required 
okay so this is now let's run the app and see if it works or not the build is failed because canvas assign a value to cg float and here we say cg float is this and we will make it like this now it's height is cg float or float it's cg float so we will make it cg float here so and now we don't need this okay now let's see if it works so here it says okay now let's see now our keyboard and you can see it's moved up okay so now if i run it for this let me implement a dedicate txt bc dot over txt not txt so we have to create an ib outlet for this for our class our text field and here it is we have our text field and here we need uh, ib outlet and here we have and here we go we will give txt name and we connect it okay now we need to create a delegate so that whenever user press return then it will give so txt name dot delegate is equals to self and here we will tell our class that it will compose the UI text with delegate and here we will say key sorry text field did return and it will return true and here we will say text field dot reassign first responder and now here what we will give we will check the bottom constraint of our text field this value is how much and this is 60 so we will set it 60 here in keyword field height self dot txt bc dot constant is equals to 60.0 so now let's run the app and see if it comes and goes So here let's see and here I press return and this come and this come. So here it is and if you want to animate this then you need this UI view dot animate with duration 0.5 and animation will be here with yourself dot view dot layout. If needed try by writing this code the constraints will be animated sent. So same goes here and now let's run the app. Here, um, here you can see, and when I go type, it goes down. So, if I make the change while moving this correction, or you can say, here, or spell checkings to no, and also I set correction to no. And now, let's see, you will see the difference now. And here it is now our action will go on and you can see it's work perfectly fine it's with the rectangle as per our keyboard rectangle shown in the screen at present so this is a small tutorial where you learn how to move the keyboard as per your keyboard rectangle and thus solving the problem of hiding the text field whenever keyboard shown up so if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and do share this video and if you have any feedback or comments for us then please do like do comment below and please subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed so far so that you can keep updated for our new future video releases thanks for watching bye for now and have a great time